Guys, we have some big news to cover today, so buckle up. The infamous YouTuber known as Too Mad has passed away at the age of 23. It's currently trending on Twitter as we speak, and numerous news accounts such as Dextero, TMZ, and Drama Alert are covering this. The announcement made an uproar with some of his ex-friends coming out, exposing him and the disgusting things he has done. James Key came out and made a statement about him, saying, I can finally say it. Too Mad was a and a pedophile. Over the past few years, he tried to murder me multiple times for helping the police and detectives in multiple states to investigate a lot of the horrible things he has done. He wanted to take out multiple innocent lives by getting behind a wheel and going head on the freeway while being high on illegal drugs. He didn't succeed once he overdosed before killing anybody, so he tried it again. Despite him trying to murder me in multiple innocent lives, I've been trying to help law enforcement to make sure he's safe, doesn't get hurt, and doesn't harm anybody. Please remember that he's a in a pedophile. He continued to prey on the vulnerable even after the police got involved, including a 13-year-old in a mental hospital. The tragedy doesn't excuse any of his actions. I will address a lot of the stuff when I fully collect my thoughts. Past few months have been a total mess and reasons why I ended up in the ER. Please give me time. For the ones who don't know who Too Mad is, or even if you do know who he is, there's been a lot of controversy going on. Too Mad is slash was a pedophile. Too Mad started the schizo posting on Twitter seemingly for fun. Initially, nobody cared until he stated that he liked little girls. Afterwards, he called Brianna Gay, a 16-year-old who got stabbed and murdered, his girlfriend. According to his tweets, he never knew her age and thought she was hot. Afterwards, he mocked the tweet. A user going by Bella would allege he sexually assaulted her and stalked her. Additionally, he posted a video apologizing for these allegations. However, he claimed he was coerced into apologizing and immediately started live streaming on Twitch. If you want to know more about this situation, I'm going to leave a video down below better explain it. He's since gotten a lot of backlash for all of this, including losing his friends and his reputation, even going as far as trying to kill them. He was found dead in his home by the LAPD. There was drug paraphernalia on the scene, and sources say he overdosed. Now, there's so many tweets of so many people how they feel about this situation, whether they support him, whether they're against him. It's still sad all around to see someone at such a young age die like this. But what I do find a little bit funny is if you go on his server and you go look at what he's doing right now, because his Discord account still active and still up it says he's still playing overwatch even though it is on a loop it still makes it look like he's still alive and around like i said it's sad to see someone die at such a young age but unfortunately the only ones i really feel bad for in this time is his family and the victims if there's any updates on the situation i will be making sure to update you all via youtube or twitter so go follow my new twitter account it's i'm nift but i hope you guys are all staying nifty and you all have a wonderful rest of your day thank you guys for watching take care and bye bye I'm gonna speak facts. Uber Eats is ruining my f life. I, it's like I can't even control myself anymore. It's just, I think I'm dying. I barely spend any money. It's just all going to Uber Eats. Like, all of my money that I spend, my expenditures, they go straight to fucking Uber Inc. And it sucks. I've spent easily twenty to $30,000 on straight Uber Eats. Like an absolute imbecile. Only recently have I figured out what the grocery store is. Had no idea what, what that was before. That shit was just like a mystery to me. And when I go to the grocery store, I don't even know what I fucking want. Uber Eats has made my taste in food completely just fucking foreign. I don't know what the hell I want to eat. Only thing I want to eat is like the most fucked up shit nowadays. It's just like gay times.